Rep. Ilhan Omar, DMN, hit back Wednesday at President Donald Trump's call Tuesday for her to resign from Congress or quit the House Foreign Affairs Committee over her anti-Semitic rhetoric. Omar, who apologized Monday at the behest of Democratic leaders, claimed that the president had trafficked in hate his whole life, while she had learned from people impacted by my words. But an article in a local Minneapolis, St. Paul newspaper reported Tuesday that Jewish leaders in Minnesota had spoken to Omar about her views last year, and that she failed to learn anything. The Twin Cities Pioneer Press reported. Last year, before she was elected to the House of Representatives, before she emerged from the crowded Democratic field in Minnesota's liberal 5th Congressional District, leaders of Minneapolis Jewish community fashioned what could be described as an anti-Semitic intervention of Omar, a rising star of the left whose remarks had made many fellow Democrats in the Jewish community uncomfortable. Last year, State Senator Ron Latz, a St. Louis Park Democrat who has served in the legislature since 2002, invited Omar to his house, where a number of Jewish leaders had gathered. It wasn't an ambush, Omar knew the group was there, and their purpose was to enlighten her. Latz recalled, over the course of about two hours, we shared with her our concerns for things, including language that has references and meanings beyond just the meanings of words. Tropes, dog whistles, call them what you will. We explained to her how hurtful, and factually inaccurate, they were. Most of us came out of that conversation very troubled by the answers we received. I was not convinced she was going to give a balanced approach to policy in the Middle East, and I was not convinced where her heart is on these things. As of Wednesday morning, Omar has not deleted any of the anti-Semitic tweets from Sunday that led to her being forced to apologize Monday. Nor had she deleted an anti-Semitic from 2012 that had prompted local Jewish leaders to intervene, in which she declared, Israel has hypnotized the world. Latz told the Pioneer Press, at some point, it becomes a little tired to hear her say she's being educated. He added that the time had passed to keep treating Omar with kid gloves, 